Yeah, the sensing. What kind of sensors has it got? Just you got to plug it into a computer. You have to have a laptop plug it into a computer. And then download from internet. Yeah, then you plug. Then you can input the mission one, two, three, four, five. Ah, I see. So you input missions. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, we don't have said laptop. Yep. So what does it mean? It needs what a USB. It's got a PC. Well, it looks like you can do it by you probably do it by phone. Either you PC or IR or yeah, by phone, pad, whatever. Yeah, because you're, you're, um, I don't have my phone charger with me. My phone charger has a USB. Boom, can go ahead and download it to the phone and shoot it in. Oh, that's mini. That's not micro. That's mini. Yeah. It's got a USB cable on it. Oh, it just goes from mini to oh, USB. Okay. Sitting over here somewhere. Oh, yeah, how much do you want from us? Hmm. Well, it depends on your mood. Twenty. Some people paying twenty. Some people paying thirty. So they said bear was going to kick whatever you suits you. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you got more people coming, so here's thirty. Okay. Um, we might have more tomorrow, but that helps. Not that Maryland doesn't pay me much. It's just that Maryland doesn't pay me much. Mm. been a football coach. I was, that's why I got this job. It does work. You guys build a good robot machine. It reminds me of something. Reminds you of a little remote car. I don't know why, but it reminds me of the movie The Martian. Yeah, yeah, it does. It reminds me of something like that. When I was little, they had those Trico RC cars where it would have two wheel, like just get two wheels on each side, and you could like flip it around, and then one, one side would one. fling around. And, uh, I had one of those. I don't know yeah. where it went. Okay. I remember uh, RC cars. I went to the play, play with it for about twenty minutes. Building. It only turned left. Instructions too. I remember those, it was like where you just go backwards and then yeah. you go forward and then it would turn yeah. like that. I built one of those. It was like a little three wheel that had one pivot on it to the mm -hmm. left. And then when it backed up, it automatically backed up to the left and yeah. then it would go straight again. That was one you actually had to solder the, the board too. <laughs> did you burn your fingers any? What's that? Did you burn your fingers in? Oh yeah, when I was little, yeah. Mm -hmm. My dad told me when I was like eight how to solder, so. You never imagine a thing gets that hot. No, oh, yeah. It doesn't look like it. You, you Ow! Know, yeah, yeah. You, right. <laughs> Once is enough. Once is enough. It just depends on which one you get on how quick it burns. Yeah, like, like in pepper now. Once you get it in there once, you never do it again. Oh, no! I had a remote control general lead. It was like this big. This device is not compatible with your phone. Yeah, that's it for mine, too. So, you got the Lego Mindstorms programmer that you can put on your on an app or device. Can we take it into the lab and use it on the desktop? Uh, you probably plug it in if you get the website for it down there. The who? The website. Yeah, I mean, that's got all the websites and the connection. I don't know. So, well, those computers are pretty old. Yeah. Well, and plus the uh, firewall they have on. I don't think I Does that mean you can have nice firewalls? Come on. <laughs> Wouldn't let me mess with basic. Yeah. Well, that's right. We're in the lab. Well, now. you can't you can't download and install anything. If you can do it all from the web, then you'll be all right. Unless you have an admin password to the lab. One of those no, computers. Negative. Um, I have a crack disk to crack the admin password. I got one of those too. <laughs> what does it do? Authorize? Huh? It goes through the. It uses the BIOS and it erases admin passwords. Yep. Which one do you use? Uh, Hirons. Hirons. I got Hirons and yeah. Trinity. We haven't used Trinity in a while. Hiram seems to work for the Air Force image, so. Yeah, it, it works good for older stuff, but once you get to seven and stuff, Trinity's working a lot better. I did do that with my last computer. It's, the password or the profile was corrupted, so mm -hmm. take it to the old shop over there. Yeah. We do it all the time. So we do is just wipe passwords. And me and a coworker were the only two in the buildings. So we get really creative. And He's out of going there and change his passwords and stuff. <laughs> guy's got a lot to do. People when he used to work in the visitor center, people used to cheat. 
change my background whenever I went to the bathroom. <laughs> David Hasselhoff and the thong or the Canadian I did that. Or, I did that remotely to one of my friends once. It's hilarious. He's like, he's like, you don't got the rights. And I was like, okay. And he walks away and I remoted into his computer and went into his, his file system and changed his background the color. So like all pink, I put two, What's his two guys in like assless chaps on his desktop, like Mine. their arms over each other. And then uh, I put a script on his, his startup folder just so every time he logged on after 10 seconds, it would lock him back off. <laughs> You know it was you? No, that's the funny part. He, he never suspected. I was like, you're dumb. And we went out to lunch one day. He's like, I can't even get on my computer. Someone changed all my stuff. And I started laughing. He's like, that was you? Like, yeah. I did it to my wife and I worked for an MCI. I did the refresh on the computers. Mm. <laughs> she was having problems with her computer. It wouldn't work. Like, log into her S drive, so I remoted into it for her and her and her coworker. I had them print everything to the main office rather than their office. Mm -hmm. Our coworker print like 100 pages at a time. Oh my gosh. She's like a financial secretary, so she does like 100 pages at a time. The financial report says all print to the main office. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't me. Like, man, our computer's not working. It's not, it's not printing. Somebody walk on here. Yes, it hey. is. <laughs> is this yours? How'd you get it? I'm working. I printed it three times and it didn't work. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> How do you get the thing to spin? I'll oh, put the, the red switch to the middle. It's the last one. Okay, so we've hit a snap on the software until we get a computer. Actually, I'm, I'm kind of downloading it now. Is it working on here? I'm, it's, it's downloading the program. Is. Dad knows the angles. <coughs> if there's an angle, he's got it. I guess your device is newer than mine. Yeah. Well, mine's a dang new device, but... I went to the Google. Mine's only like six months old. Google App Store. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, I went to their dude and it still didn't want to do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Dan has his skill. He has his skill. Well... <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that printer down there won't do color, will it? No. <clears throat> well, I guess somebody has a pad. Sure about my Roomba. If somebody has an iPad or Android pad or something like that, then we could uh, maybe have Roombas. Look at the instructions for the Evo 3, the actual tall robot, and build it too if you want to. Yeah. Right. Uh, well, we, we can look at YouTube's on the lab videos, and the YouTube's do tell you how to build these things. But um, well, they get Lego's instructions online. I can get the instructions. It's a download. PDF. No, they do. They do, do it in front of your eyes. I can, I can get the actual instructions for it. You can look at that for on your phone. Them. That's all they need. Yeah, and then yeah, I got the program, that's good enough. Program's the only thing I can't get. So I'm, I'm down. Uh, I got the. I'll, I'll take care of the guy. <coughs> I got the. Uh, Sometimes it's good to have somebody like you around. That's right. Yeah. Everybody needs a fixer. I got the Evo Storm. It was a wolf. Three <laughs> instructions. Isn't that what they call them? On the. Well, then the, uh, the PDF board. The wolf. Oh, yeah. 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 Put the yeah. instructions for the next model. Yeah. This is the one you want next. But you want it in color, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, but people in hell want ice water. What? It'll cost them. <laughs> yep. Okay, so why this is downloading, do you mind if I make a run to the financial institution to make a gratuitous? Contribution, and I'll be right back. What do you say, guys? Let's build Optimus Prime. Yeah, really. Yeah, see. Oh, that's a new movie coming out this year too. Another one. Another one. Yeah, but it's all about the Transformers. So, aren't they all? No, I mean, but it's it's about them. It's oh, their backstory. So there's like no humans. Yeah, they're gonna have them in there somehow. They're gonna have to travel to Cybertron. But it's a, it's about Bumblebee and uh, Optimus Prime. Yeah. Their daughter was pretty cool. You guys are a bunch of overgrown kids. Yeah, We're playing with Legos. Legos. Never grow I mean, yeah. Where'd you get that kit from? Yeah. Oh, never mind. Yeah, well, 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 well Hollywood has been able to catch up with our imagination is what it is. There you oh, go. No, they've been able to catch down. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, but the next one I'm waiting for is um, Spaceballs 2. <laughs> really? To search for more money? Yes. Oh, my They're actually doing it. It's going to be great. 
I've never seen. You saw the original Spaceballs, right? Negative. Never. You gotta you need watch to it. watch it. It's so funny. I you need to watch it. I couldn't get past the stupid <coughs> helmet, man. I just couldn't get past the dark helmet. It's all for dark, dark, dark helmet. Come on, man. Like Brick Moran and somebody. Come on, man. We've been jammed. I hate jam. How's it gonna be without Joe and Keenan? Strawberry. Yeah. Strawberry. President from Independence Day. Who hmm. is? That's gonna be good. He's an asshole, <laughs> sir. I don't think Will Smith is dead. Well, I, I they I'm, say he's dead. I don't think he's dead huh? in the movie. I heard he didn't want to do it, or I don't. I, I forget exactly what the reason he is not in it. Well, one is because he's under contract with DC. Yeah, doing what? Yeah, he was um, he was supposed to be Neo in the Matrix. He really? Was originally supposed to be Neo in the Matrix, but the commitment was for three years. He had to commit for three years to do all three movies. You got your wife out there playing on the man? No, that's my baby girl. Mm. That's my daughter. So well, I have to look outside boyfriend. to see somebody walk over there. The one with all the boyfriends? Nah, no, no. She's uh, she's pretty cool. Which brick is this? Mm. Which brick is this? Uh, that's my second daughter. Got you. NXT. Oh, this is the so three. I will be right back, James. This, this is downloading right 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 the brick. Uh, we await your return. Yes, yes, sir. We can't build off in this prime. If you find a laptop in the parking lot, you can bring it in. Okay, I'm not going to do anything. Just see. I'm going to build the Evo 3 or EV3 Storm this thing. Did it come with the little balls? Is it mail? <laughs> You're in a power trip there, man. <laughs> strap a GoPro on this thing and mm -hmm. I was going to pick that thing up. What are those propellers for anyway? What's it, it's cut, what's it cut it's through? It's supposed to be blades. And for what, wire? Yeah. Weren't them that are strong enough to lift it up so I can get on the box? Maybe once. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I'll reverse it. Nope. Guess <laughs> <laughs> what, Bear? You just bought a robot. Yay. Well, no, not. I might have the blades out of the way. <laughs> I think it wasn't designed for that, actually. But who was, right? Durable, as has been described. Legos are made to come apart, though. Yeah, that's what it just did. So things are to tunnel through Earth to make a channel. Uh, Who's supposed to cut through? Humans. Humans, yeah. That's what I think. Do you remember that movie from the 80s called Chopping Mall? Misty. But I can imagine it. With a C, right? I don't remember that like uh, everything in the movie, but there's a bunch of robots that were on tracks, like yeah. rolling through a mall, like chopping every people. Like shooting people with lasers. Uh -huh. And then there are people hiding, and I don't, I don't, I saw it when I was old. But yeah. A bunch of robot movies in the 80s. Mm-hmm. There was one called, like, Evolution, and the robot, like, he would change to different stages. Like, first he was on a track, and then he had, I don't know, a lot of goofy movies. Donnie Five. Oh. Like that, short Circuit? Yeah. Yeah. Mal, or whatever. I like that, Donnie Five. That's was that movie? I saw it the other day again. It was when uh, Tom Selleck is like a cop that goes after robots. Tom Selleck. Yeah. Wow. I was right back. That's the name of my mustache when it's in its true form. Tom Selleck. He just did a new one too. He did. Yeah. He's still he's still making yeah, movies. Still, a lot of TV shows too. Yeah. It was one of the first what the ladies called hunts. Smoking the Bandit. I, uh, I'm kind of mad they took Magnum off of uh, Netflix. Oh, you watched them all anyway, didn't you? I didn't watch them all. When my dad was younger in the 80s, they used to call him Magnum because he had like the same hair and the mustache. And... Same Ferrari? No, not that. That wasn't even his. That was wow. Higgins. That belonged to Higgins, didn't it? It wasn't Higgins. It was the owner's. Well, unless Higgins was the owner. Wait, was Higgins the owner, or was that somebody else's place? That question was never answered to the, to the final day. Really? Yes. 
whether he was a caretaker or the owner, playing the caretaker. Hmm. Yeah. I used to watch the A Team, and I watched a little bit of Airwolf and Knight Rider, Mash, Knight Dukes Rider, of Hazard. I used to love Dukes of Hazard, but it didn't it didn't age well for me. Like when I got a little older, but it's, I like Dukes of Hazard pretty well. Yeah, I used to nuts about it. That's because you like cars. Cars with no doors. That was no, I had doors. I thought doors everybody well used shut. the windows. They were just welded shut. Mm -hmm. The doors wouldn't open. Yeah, all right. So I had doors. Okay. I had doors. I really wanted one of those. I still want one of those. That's my number one. Like car. Nineteen sixty nine Dodge Charger. You know they went through so many Dodge Chargers. They were actually buying them from people. They would I know pay, that they destroyed pay you for your charge. Yeah, they destroyed so many of them. They were starting to buy them from people, and they'd pay you for your car, and then send you like free episodes of what your car was in. And say, hey, that's my car. All that. <laughs> Watch it crunch. That's the last episode they give you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wanted the A Team van too. I drive the A Team van. The 1969 Dodge Charger with a 454 in it. 454. They had, they used all the different types of cars, like with the different engines, and some were manual, some were automatic. They, mm -hmm. but that was the good one. Was it the 440 was the good one, or the? I don't know. I don't remember all the engine sizes. But that's been banned because it's evil. Yeah. So we can print out the instructions, we can build a new model, or we can wait for Don to return with the software for getting this on mission one and two. Uh, can we attempt to build a new model from a black and white printout, or? I think we've got it on our phone, so we can. Just look at it. Yeah, just look at the phone and yeah, color the instructions. And yeah. That's what we want to do, and just can take it apart. It'd be nice to <coughs> get Dotson to come back with the uh, missions that you've been putting in. See it do something before we change it? Yeah. Well, it looks like a pre World War I fighter plane. I'm kind of up. A soft with camel or a walker? Ooh, you yeah. know that stuff. Well, some of them. Okay, which one did the Red Baron fly? Oh, what did he have? It wasn't a tiger moth, was it? Or a it was it was the camel was an American plane. Thought he was British. I used to know which one he flew. My my knowledge for planes really started in World War II, but I knew a little bit of that stuff, but I didn't. I'm not sure. I can look it up. I'm interested now, though. <coughs> yeah, the Southie camel was. The plane for 20 years. I remember that. Snoopy's doghouse also did real well. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, the original. I'm kind of curious the range on this thing. Fokker DR1 Dree Decker. Red Baron flew that one? That'd be line of sight at least. <clears throat> as, a, as a triplane. Triplane? <laughs> it had three wings. Yeah, I know what that is. Yeah, the Red Baron, this is the... We're testing the range. Did they, they need to make a movie about the Red Baron, or was that that movie with James Franco? They did that already. I'm not sure. The range before it does what? Out of the uh, IR control? Yeah. Okay. Is it IR or is it radio? IR, IR. About 30 feet, probably 15 to 20. Going because it's less signal and receive and be pushing it forward. It should stop though. <laughs> Just stop on running phone. Start with EOD and ask them if we can play with their robot. <laughs> there it goes. That's it.
could change the batteries out. You have to take the whole thing apart to change the batteries. In the smart block? I hear you. You have to take all of it apart to get to them. They're underneath this grid. Sounds like an old French gun I heard about. You take it apart to put more ammo in it. Yeah, I don't think these things are built to be played with very long. You're encouraged to tear them down and build another one. Well, yeah, you got to tear them apart just to change batteries. Well, with those six batteries, you can probably get two hours out of it. I can torment my pets for longer than that. <laughs> you cat, dog, both. What do you put a one of each? My wife wants a dog, and I'm like, we can't have one more at. I said, but someday, if we get a dog, we're going to get a cat, too. She's like, I'm allergic to cats. Can you be allergic to one, not the other? Really? Especially cats. Hmm. Especially cats. There you go through. Finding plastic on the floor would be good. <laughs> yeah, it'd be fun to mess with a cat with that. <laughs> you say you want to put a <laughs> My cat will come up to it. Yeah. Smile me, put her arm up like this. And if I hit that, she'd fun. probably start freaking out and slamming it. Better bring your cat in next time. See what it does. Or take this home. Absolutely. No, my cat doesn't go near the outdoors anymore. Yeah. We were telling Josh earlier that if you fly a drone now, uh, big birds, if you fly it into their territory, they'll oh, attack yeah. and down the drone. Yeah. Uh, what, I don't know if it was in the U.S., but. What I'm well, nice. drunk, I yeah. <laughs> some, some countries are actually training falcons to take down drones and bring them back to their handlers who are flying wow. like, in illegal areas. I saw it. Was that on YouTube? It was on Facebook that I saw that. I just watched a, um, a based off real life uh, story deal, mm -hmm. real life events, where drug cartels are using drones on pre programmed flights mm -hmm. to, get, to get drugs across the border. Sure. Because they're small enough to pass radar. Yeah. And they didn't know. Um, I heard something. I don't know. I don't remember where I read it, but there was someone tried to use it to drop drugs into a prison. I yep. Got it. <laughs> mm -hmm. When I get back to the states, I I, I want to have a shotgun ready just just to shoot down drones. Like a drone, like hovering in my yard for more than thirty seconds, like stopping and moving around, I shoot it down. That's within your property rights. I mean, I don't know, I think it's over 100 feet actually, isn't it? Like yeah, 50, 50 feet or 100 feet, it's one of those two. Yeah, but if he's, if he's hovering or being suspicious, I'm going to shoot it down. So I'm going to get that. Yeah, I think I saw a video. But he's like a 44 Magnum or something like that. <laughs> Dropping bombs, so I guess you got a right to shoot it down. If he, thought it was, he thought it was looking in his daughter's window or something like that. So he walks outside with his, <laughs> shot it down. That's even better. So those two were fighting each other and walked in, uh, in court forever. Judge Judy? Um, <laughs> <laughs> that'd be funny. Sure. Yeah. I can see that where I come from. Somebody out there with a lasso taking it down. 12 gauge. Lasso, yeah. Is Judge Judy, uh, are those fake cases or you think they're. <clears throat> I think they're entertaining, insignificant real cases. Really? Yeah. Because everybody gets paid to be there. Yeah, I think they're real cases that they already got they've already been solved and it's just entertainment value. Mm -hmm. Actors. Actors are real people. Yeah, there is. Um, I think they're real people. What's that? Oh, uh, Judge Judy? Oh. People on there? I don't know. It's, I'd it's, say they're it's, it's debatable. But yeah, this guy he said he believed that it was spying on his sixteen year old daughter when who was sunbathing in the garden. So he took out a shotgun and blasted the drone out of the sky. Good. I probably would have done the same thing. Yep. I'd like to capture it, just like wipe it and use it for my own. Right? Yeah. Because I've been wanting to get a drone, but there's so many out there and they're so expensive, and I'd want to get a nice one. And yeah, no, I just hope they leave it on so we're still recording and doing your like, special effects still for cutting up bodies and stuff. And I'm recording. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it's going to be killed for you. It should be pretty easy to we can be like old uh, Matthew McConaughey on that Interstellar when they, he took control yeah. of that drone. Yeah. That's even a real. <laughs> Have you seen that movie? Interstellar. It is this old drone flying around and he points this 
thing at it, and you do it at the laptop, and then it takes control of it. Just like I ran to. Did they? I ran to control of the US drone. Was that the one that crashed, and when they said, oh, look what we found, or I wonder no, it was in, intact. They landed it. Oh. Yeah. Well, there's no open source, but no trouble at all. They just took control of it. Was it the seeker ones? Yeah. Or? At oh. that time. The only trouble is, of course, they can't get parts for it. They can't fly it again. But they can certainly build one that looks just like it. Yep, that was a big embarrassment. Impoverished backward country drowns, downs sophisticated U.S. intelligence drone. Takes control. That's where you should set them up, set the coding up to self-destruct if it loses a certain code. Like running your IP or whatever, however it's running. Just the it's probably overcomable too. Who took control of it? Iran. Iran? Yeah. They've still got it. I'm sure somebody thanked them for not blowing it up and keeping it doing what they want with it. Mm -hmm. You know, they're all funded by China, so. Just through backwoods channels now. Apparently China's supporting the UN though. Yeah, but they're still supporting North Korea, Iran, Iraq. They still Syria. building their island? They still oh, yeah. building that island out there? Yeah, they're doing it. Yeah. I wonder how it looks now. It's bigger than that. I think they actually have an airstrip on now or something. Are y'all both in Air Force? I'm a reservist now, not active duty. Okay, it could be your Air Force, right? Are they, are they done flying the fully loaded missions? I don't know. I know they had like the 7th Fleet and the Chinese Fleet or whatever, like facing off for a while and they were flying fully loaded missions out of Kadena. I live like right off this side of the flight line. I'm watching planes. I'm like, F 22s? Oh, yeah. They're, they're, they were fully loaded. And I'm just like, wait a minute. There's a lot more on the bottom of that thing that's supposed to be yeah, there. Yeah, I've been noticing that. I haven't, I haven't seen it in a while, though. They didn't yeah, fly that much this week, at least. It was a uh, guard unit from either Missouri or Alaska. You I know, I know China uh, shot down a Japanese fishing boat or sunk a Japanese fishing boat. Right? Yeah. And so they had the Chinese, whatever fleet they have, and the seventh fleet were like facing off. There's like a 50 mile no man zone between them. They're flying missions out of uh, Kadena here, showing a, doing a show of force with fully loaded. You sure they have 22s, not F 15s? I don't know what they have over here. Well, there was they some have F-22s F on loan. Yeah, they have F-22s on loan, but um, I don't know if they're showing them or just holding them. A couple weeks ago, I, I, I heard one. And when they fly over, you can tell a difference. They make some weird noise. It's like because of the vector thrust and all that stuff. Um, well, I hear the click clicks, but the tail design is straight up, which is an F-15. F the 22s are there. Yeah. It's slanted, so they're, what is the F-15s? And they make the click clicks, too, which... I've been wondering what they are. They Whenever they make a bang, they make an edit. They fly the 22s all the time, though. Mm -hmm. And they've been using afterburners lately, and it's really annoying. Because my work is. The 22s are them. flying frequently now? They always do. Yeah, yeah like I always see them take off, yeah. How long? Oh, I don't know. Cause I just, they rattle windows in my office whenever they take off. The, the part that pisses me off at like 10 o'clock engine toast. <laughs> they park on this end of the flight line. And we'll do engine tests at 10 o'clock at night. There's an engine test facility. Uh, <coughs> where are we? It's on the 58 end, right? I guess it shut off. Um, over, do you know where the Catam range is? Vaguely. All right, they just, or you know where the new hangar is that they just built? It's, it's by the gate three shop at. Okay. It's down over there. There's, there's two huge test engine tubes over there. And I can hear those. Are there, are there, are there any over here by gate one? I don't think there's. Uh, I don't know because I don't know if they're actually just engine tubes and testing that way, or if they're actually parking planes over there and testing them. And so like ten o'clock at night, you can hear them. Oh! <laughs> it's like, come on, really? Yeah. Can't have had the windows open to watch a movie because that's all you hear in the background is that droning. I'm a solo air base. He gets in and just like here, <clears throat> in their wisdom, they built it 200 meters from the flat line. So every day at 4.40, classes start, you see the pilots out there just waiting, just waiting, just waiting. As soon as you start teaching, after burners, <laughs> they get their kicks. Yeah, I was, I was sitting, I go up to the, 
next to the firehouse on my lunch break sometimes, and I just chill there. And most of the time, fall asleep for an hour. And then, uh, as soon as those jets come down, you, especially if it's cloudy out, you can see that the cone flame coming out of the back. And I was like, you have to burn it again. That shit is fucking loud. Yeah, well, with the windows I wish the philosophy on that, which I don't believe a bit, but the base commander wants them to be um, uh, familiar with uh, combat tactics so that they will, they will go to a combat zone where it's all afterburners and they're used to it. I just don't buy it. Being in Korea, working night shift <coughs> is absolutely horrible yeah. during the exercise time. Because uh, us base? and the Koreans, nothing but afterburners all day yeah. long. Right. And trying I do, to it's sleep, standard now. Trying to sleep during the yeah. day, especially when you're in night shift. It's standard, and I don't see the logic behind it. I use earbuds and listen to soft music, and then I put my my, my aircraft headphones over top of that. And the, alarm, the alarm goes. Yeah, the alarm goes through my headphones, so it works out. <laughs> but it's really? really uncomfortable when I wake up. Yeah, you get earaches. I did that too, just for my bed in law's wedding. Just be glad you don't have the F thirty five over here doing that. Good God, they're noisier than the twenty two. Well, we got the yeah. freaking yeah. the. Marines have their uh, Harriers. Yeah, their Harriers here. You know when they're coming in because Those the sound stays in one place forever. Yeah. Uh, just <laughs> right. in. And then you see the plane sitting there and like, another oh, fucking Harrier, and finally they go down. Yeah. yeah. I was at Eglin for four years and I sat there on the flight line and stared at all the jets and we had F 15s, F 16s, A 10s, C 130s, and uh, a bunch of F 35s and F 18s. The F-35s were so loud that Niceville was trying to sue the government because they were so loud. That's the loudest plane I've ever heard. Really? Yeah. I haven't heard that yet. And they're, they're ridiculous. So go down to the Naha and listen to Phantoms take off down there. They're louder than 22 for sure. Phantoms? F-4s. The Japanese Phantoms. Yeah. And that's the, the really F-4s. funny part is when they, they're talking about Potomac replacement and all the different plans, one of the Japanese plans is to make it the uh, Japanese Air Force Defense Force Base and land phantoms there. Yeah. That's gonna piss off getting on line. There you go. You thought the Ospreys were bad? Just yeah. wait. <laughs> yeah. On the back side of the island, they're filling in water area to make a new base. And there's Japanese oh big protesters out there. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's on the other side of the island somewhere. They're like uh, filling in like ocean. Up north, right? Yeah, yeah. Schwab. Yes. Yeah, they're they're, they're filling in Schwab to build. Sure, it's Schwab? It's yeah. A new, it's a new base. It's, the it's Ospreys. all the way up north, but what they're doing is like the Schwab base is kind of like that, and then the coastline, and they're actually filling in wow. like that across the bay. And all of this ground has to be brought up about 30 feet, and then all this is going to be brought up that level for them to put Ospreys on one side and then their, um, everything else over here. 46s, the 53s, well, no, 46s are gone, so just 53s and the, the small bar jets and all that. Yeah, I, I flew over in a Cessna in January, and it's interesting to walk, see that. Yeah. I've heard about it. We drove, to, we drove by Nago, and there was just a steady dream of dump trucks one after another on the highway. They were decimating their sand hills up there, just making all flat ground out of them, and we just wondered where they were going, so now I know where they're going. It might be one of that. There's also a lot of road projects going on up there. Yeah. Are you talking about the little peninsula up there? Just like yeah, you just drive just out, you see half the hills are missing. And, and the there's like a nice mountain and it's just a sheer drop. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. 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 And it's intentional, they just cut them down to ground level. Yeah. Take them to Santa. They got, they got a long ways to go. They say it's supposed to be done by 2025. I still don't think they're going to make it. I don't think so. What else do we have here? Oh, uh, we're still downloading. Oh, no, it's downloading. I just opened it. Yeah, it's just uh, kind of... I got to go sit on some of those commands. Well, you're the man, Dan. I'm waiting on them to, to get that to, to my back, and then the Japanese can see it. Do you have... Yeah. Is this the remote? What? Yeah. When the Japanese see it, they're going to crack themselves. Okay. Look at the, like the cross section of the base. I get the flight line and all your hangers and all that kind of stuff. Have it over there. It's all this is one big cave underneath it. Uh, yeah, they did a geological survey. They said the thickest part, like over the flight line, or over the hangars, or anything else, the thickest part's only like 25, 30 feet. And it's just a huge cave. That could be bad. 
That's where the gold is, yeah? That's where I get sinkholes all the time. And the sinkholes drop off. There's also a 30 foot hole in the middle of the, middle of the ground. Cool. Is it working? We're, we're it's scanning for the device. We're going to make sure this is not code red. Yeah, the, the, Let's push the top button. Yeah. The flight line's pretty steady, but off the side of it, there's sinkholes all over the place. Uh, there's one cave when it goes Which to the Which device are we scanning for? That right it's got to be, it says it's scanning it's actually, for um, brick EV. That's, oh, that's, 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 that's There's a cave on there that that area has been flooded by now. Because hmm. the ocean actually built up that when the storm surge and everything else. Because my Bluetooth is on. So it's Bluetooth, yeah. Wait, that, that's Bluetooth? Yeah, it's got Bluetooth menu on it. Oh. Mm -hmm. so a little more range out of it then. You might set your phone to discoverable and there it is. I got you. I love Android. Everybody hates Apple. Yeah. Click it. Connect. Yes. Accept the pass key. One, two, three, four. No, oh, that's really tough to break, man. Connecting. It's coming to show my luggage. Better than my password. It's password. <laughs> Hi. There you go. This is today. Okay. Was that you said hi, Lee? Well, the thing said it too. Thing said hey. Yeah. That's scary. Right there. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> Push the go, we go. I forgot that that was front. Which mission is this? This is just like a... Don't hurt our child. <laughs> it knows. It knows where the edge is. No, it's, I think it's the only I'm doing that. Oh. It's still under remote? It's not auto fire? Yeah. How do you stop? <laughs> I hit it. I hit attack and that's what it did. Wow. Attack. That was pretty good noise. Shoot. Shoot. Exactly. Shoot. Mm -hmm. Robot going crazy in the movie. You created a Shoot. monster. Shoot. Skate. Oh, it's skating. <laughs> no, the mice. Get your hands off of me. There's a microphone you can tell it to. Untie me. Hold down button while recording. Okay. Oh, you can record. There's a mic button down there, see? Yeah. Yeah. Say, I used to be a human. Now Go. I evolved. Stop. I didn't say back, I said stop. Slow learner. Attack. <laughs> Is it obeying voice commands or are you just clicking it? No, it's, I, you actually talk to it. If you hold down the voice hold commands. down the microphone and you can tell it to do. Shut up. Go. Back. <laughs> stop. Oh, it likes your stop. <laughs> Interesting. Make it dance. Dance. Interesting. <laughs> Go ahead, grab it, grab it. <laughs> Can you dance? Um, dance. No. no. Thank you, Dan. You're welcome, sir. Nice to meet you.
supposed to have that uh, mission one, mission two sensor control for should tell you where a wall is and not get run into the crowd. But can you can you move programs into it? You're supposed to be able to have like mission one, mission two, mission three. You see. But I don't know how you do it. Oh, from what I saw here. From what I saw here, there's different programs that you can download. That's what, download yeah. and into your phone. Yeah. Then they have to be passed on to the machine. Right. Yeah. See. Hmm. That's what it is. Hmm. Yeah. Apparently, the I guess the. Uh, the remote sensor on the back of it. It's got a like proximity sensor on it. Mm. So it shouldn't run into things. You need one of those sensors like Roomba where it won't go over an edge. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if you look at like this from a, a cost benefit um, type deal. Look how much money Lego is actually saving. They sell you the robot, and they send you the instructions for one. But then they say, okay, instead of reprinting and manufacturing different instructions, oh, you go online and download the program. You go online oh, and download been around a long time. Yeah. 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 And just yeah. from a money sure. point of view, it's, it's just yeah. updates. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like, like in the class, you've got a guy sitting there writing a program. He writes it, puts it online, and you download it. Yeah. We got the remote control wow. offline. Is that you? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 I don't want to do anything. Scary moment there, was. <laughs> you, you, know, uh, you know the cannon from the other guy, that guy? Yeah. Do we have all the pieces for that? Yeah, it's all here. We should mount that to this. You can. Because there's an empty channel, and on uh, channel B, yeah. there, when I press it, it, it activates here, but obviously nothing's happening. Oh, you know it activates? Because I can, you can see it on here. You it actually lights up the, the lights B channel up. from yeah. the right side. You got some balls. And what what, what well, actually shoots it? about time to give this thing some balls. <laughs> Everything's you got to build this whole section right here. Shouldn't take 20 minutes. Yeah, we built this. You guys can handle that part. Yeah. <laughs> you got to find the uh, instructions for how to build that thing, though. Instructions. Well, the yeah, instructions are from Wes, right, Wes? <clears throat> Somebody said this morning all they need is a picture. I need a picture, but that one's too small. Well, it's on the table now. Uh oh. Well, that's not the full thing. Huh? Well, that would shoot up, and this is shoot. Hmm. That's attack. Oh, no, no, I knew it was going to do that. That's <laughs> not. You think it that sucker? <laughs> you got it. <laughs> was that your Wes? <laughs> no, that was not. That was a tailgater. It's definitely a toy. Yeah. But it ain't much of a robot. In its simplest form, I guess. Well, it's, a, it's an autopiloted toy. Yeah. It's a remote control. A remote control toy. That's not what we want today. We want a robot. It's the Sojourner. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when that thing landed on Mars on July 4th, 1996. Yes, momentous. Watching it on TV. Momentous. There it is. Sends some people up there now. That's the goal. Yeah, some people volunteer to co workers say this guy deserves to go. <laughs> I'm thinking, I don't care what they do with robots or anything, human perception is always going to be better. Always. What was that jet movie? Uh, Stealth? Yeah. Mm. 
So there's no, there's no, um, there's no um, high possibility of downloading the uh, missions, eh? You have it on computer. No, it's just we don't have computer availability. So well, if you can do it in the lab. Well, they don't say, we say, no, it's blocked. But just download it. Okay, we so can download in the lab. The missions? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Is this the sheet that it walks around and it yes. follows the lines and goes to the different colors? And stuff? I'm not sure what it is. You tell me. That's what it looks like to me. Like that might be an autopilot. Yeah, you can just start here and it probably follows the lines. And, and it has color, it's not colorblind. Hmm. Build a drone. That's next. That's a good idea to build. There's a plans drone. online. Hmm? I, I looked into doing one. What's a kit cost? One, two, kits, kits not too much, but you have to buy all the parts for it. So, oh, so the actual kit itself, yeah, it could be expensive. Cheaper than buying one, but uh, I don't have the time <laughs> to do something like that. Yeah. Takes more than a Saturday. More than Saturday. Got this. My store fixed the factory. Teaches basic coding. Does not teach kids how to program. Let me see. Sounds like you can write your own code for this. I'll bet you can. This is where we need Pope on. Probably get that thing to make us a pizza. Mm -hmm. You can probably get that thing to make us a pizza. <laughs> now we gotta do is flip that out. Enchilada anyway. <laughs> pizza pizza robot. It's interesting to see those uh, balloon robots doing their aerobatics. Yeah, it takes us out of the human mode perception. And now, the, I, you remember the Honda Asimo robot? No. The one that the Japanese yeah. had? It looked like an astronaut, but yeah. it was just like... That was at Naval Kadena a couple weeks ago. Yeah. yeah, I wonder where the heck I saw that thing at. And the one... Uh, the one, the pepper, the one that um, would talk to you in Japanese, they had that at the hotel. Oh, maybe it was that one, because that one's That's the pepper, yeah, that's the one they had down there. Okay, really? yeah. and Naval Kadena, me and my wife saw it, and I was like, Shinko, go talk to it. She's like, you talk to it. And I was like, okay, so I walked up to it, and I was like, konnichiwa. And it was, it went like this, it was like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so this one? Yeah, yeah, that's it. The hotel room, uh, yeah, he's been around. Got pretty realistic hand gestures and it follows you. Mm -hmm. That's creepy. It follows you. <laughs> well, you know what? I think it moves. I think you can get it to move. Yeah, it, will, it runs. It runs. So and the towels at, come the it same way. It looked at me funny, and then it looked at my wife, and it and it said to her in Japanese, "You look tired. You should go to sleep." Mm. <laughs> my wife's like, "Let's go." <laughs> <laughs> Freak. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe it's got a medical thing on. It. Like Baymax? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Asimo was like My son told me he wanted Baymax. I'm like, grow up, get smart, build it then. Yeah. <laughs> this is a Asimo. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I haven't seen that one. Yeah, I've seen... That's the first one, huh, that came out with Yeah, yeah. That's, been, that's been out for like 15 and years. And that thing is mobile, too. Did you see the thing they were trying to sell the Marine Corps to carry all their gear? Oh, with the dog-looking thing? The big dog, thing? yeah, the big elf-looking thing? No. The Marine yeah. Corps turned it down because they said it was too loud. It was. Yeah, they, uh, did you see the recent one, the Atlas, no. the one that can open doors and it won't fall over if you kick it. Oh, really? Yeah, no. it no. goes. Marines have Marines to carry their stuff. <laughs> That's it. What? I got a private for that. Give me a prize. So our Army and Air Force will get that robot, and then maybe 15 years later, after it's obsolete, Marines will get it. Once Even the Army and Air Force are just uh, like. Dermo oil and stuff, yeah. and the Marines will get it. Yeah. Well, you know what? The Marine Corps just lets the Army, when they want a new weapon system, like the F-35 and all that type of stuff, the Marines let the Army and let the Air Force take the lead on that. They say, yeah, knock out all the bugs, and they will buy it, because we don't have the well, money. Marines are Yeah, yeah they have them. Well, yeah. they already have them. The Marines, well, the Marines are already in use. Yeah, because at, at Eglin, that was a big test center for all the F-35s. They, they had Marine squadrons. They also had BMF something, yeah. and then they had the, the Navy, and then they had the Air Force hangar, and they all had their... And they would fly stories with F-18s. Yeah. See, that's a big waste of money. Well, well, not really. For what they say, what for what they wanted to do, and what, what all the like they want to take the A-10 away. And I'm like, oh, 
Nah, A A-10 is just a special aircraft. But the, but the reason the Marines and the Navy test the aircraft different is, is because when those things, even though it's got the V-stall on it, yeah. if they're, if it gets hit or combat operated, related Some injuries into it, well, not that. It's just that, that that undercarriage has to be able to withstand that on that aircraft carrier if it's got to come in like a regular one. So that's why they test them different. And then the Air Force version is going to be lighter than the Marine version. Yeah. And the, bigger, bigger, or not bigger wings, it just has more fuel capacity and does more, some other stuff. More, you know, the Marines have more fuel capacity and they have a different undercarriage and different landing system built onto it because yeah. it's got to be able to absorb that shock. And the Navy version has bigger wings for faster liftoff. Yeah. They had a problem. They had to make special mixture of concrete to extend to the heat and yeah. they had to make special tires because the tires were melting. Yeah. I used to sit there in the car and watch them open up their and point the exhaust down and test it. And the only thing I, I know, a guy who's retired now. He's a retired uh, F-18 pilot and uh, Navy pilot. And he said the only thing he doesn't like about the F-35 is this: what any fighter pilot would not like about it. It's got one engine. That's it. When I was in ROTC in college in Maryland, my uh, Lieutenant Colonel, well, Colonel Oliver J. Hines, he was a uh, F-4 pilot in Vietnam, and he was not a combat pilot, he was a recon guy. And he said it was many a times, him reconning, because after he did the bomb runs or whatever, he'd come streaking through and the flak would be hit heavy, and his engine would get hit, and he always said, I'm so glad I got that second engine. And that's the only thing. Yeah, because Lockheed Martin, they say, that engine's never going to die. But they didn't say what you just said, that it can get hit by flat. It can get hit by flat. Yeah. Well, yeah. I would sit there and watch them come in smoking and mm. have to go down there and my lights at the fire department right. while they get the pilot out and see what's wrong with it. And then they ground them for like two months because something was found wrong at like yeah. a recall. And like, you know those planes can order their own parts? Yeah. yeah. All that coding has got in it. Yeah. They order their own um, replacement parts. Yeah. And they notice, oh, it's coming up time, I need this, I've flown this many hours. Well, that's, they, that's what us humans do with the doctors. Yeah. All the maintainers, they didn't like their plane. Oh, you've been put out of a job. And they were talking, they were, uh, I was, well, they were talking, well, last year they were saying that it was a dud because it couldn't outmaneuver, outfight an F-16. Well, the pilot that's been testing it uh, for the Navy, well, for the Air Force and the Navy, he just wrote on his blog and he's been updating it. He said there's things in F-35 he would never attempt in an F-16. He said it doesn't have to outmaneuver. He said it doesn't have to outfight it. Outfight it. It's just so damn versatile. You know, and then the helmet, they talk about the helmet cost $250,000. What it, kinds it, of things is this pilot referring to? The, the, the Maneuverability or just, or just um, weapons? Weapons. weapons. He, can, he can be so much further away. He doesn't have further to engage. Away, all that's true. They can see through yeah. the cockpit. Yeah. They can see down yeah, through the bottom. Yeah. Well, that's the, the argument. Also, they're still. Yeah, and they're saying that the helmet has bino binocular vision ten, so he can see up to eight miles away, like he's looking at you. Oh yeah, there he is. Each helmet right is fitted specifically for that helmet. Yeah. But ridiculous. I love planes. Yeah. But if you compare it to uh, the fighter, the fighter plane, the, the Eurofighter. That's one. Oh my God! They had a couple typhoons out on the runway when I was at Eglin. I'd have loved to see that thing. It's just so maneuverable too. It's just disgusting. It's got the little little elevators in the front sticking out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're a computer guy, so you probably understand. It's got that I'm not Delta. A career guy. I'm sorry. I'm it's not a career guy. No, no, no. It's it's got that Delta wing design, mm -hmm. and it's just so maneuverable. It says it can. The only the limitation of how many G's it can pull, of course, is the pilot. But yeah. they said that airframe could pull 16 Gs without even batting an eye. They said, but you know, the pilot would just be. What's the F-22 can do? Oh, it can do a lot. Yeah, that can vector do. thrust that's got yeah. on it. Yeah. The nozzles and everything. Just that. Mm -hmm. it, can, it can do that. And uh, the, that's what the, uh, the the guy that was flying F-35 said. He goes, I can do that top gun move very easily. Mm -hmm. Where Tom Cruise goes, slow it down and make you fly right by him. He goes, I can do it. Yeah, well, the F-35 is good at slow speeds. That's yeah. what it is. It's an all-around aircraft, so it's not. it doesn't excel at any one thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I heard someone else says. Like, you can be master at a few and mediocre at many. That's well, what it is. Yeah. Actually, it's pretty good at everything, but it's not as good as specialty planes. Right. It's not as good as the A-10. Yeah. 
And, it's um, so cheap and it's so good and it saves so many lives. Yeah, it does. Yeah, tenant, yeah. That's a nasty piece of machinery right there. It's a gun. It's a gun wrapped around an airplane. <laughs> airplane wrapped around a gun. You got it. Yeah. There's a. There's so a I don't know. I've heard Facebook, the. Uh, and it shows like troops with a sat phone. Says you used to call me on your sat phone <laughs> late night when I need your bird. Yeah. <laughs> bird. Yeah. Well, it's like Puff. Yeah. It's, it's like Puff the Magic Dragon. Now, I remember when. Um, I was at Lejeune and we got to go to, uh, LA, we took out LAVs up to uh, Fort Bragg because they had a bigger shooting range and they had Puff come through. Oh my Lord, I would not want to be on the receiving end of that. Yeah, that was just, that was, it horrified me sitting there. I was like, oh my God. Yeah, we, we had those. We had the, the big test range at Eglin. I love hearing those. What's the A-10 gun? Uh, I forget, it's a GAU 8 or a 10 or something. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. They had a building across the street from our squadron, mm -hmm. and it was an indoor uh, testing facility, mm -hmm. and they would, they would mount it to a plane that would sit there or they'd take it inside, but they'd have a light, a red light that would go on because the road would run right by it, so mm -hmm. people would sit, roll up your windows, and then it would go Boo! for like five seconds. It was the loudest thing you heard on base all day. Yeah. <laughs> I miss it. I miss it. I wasn't I wasn't here. I I got here after it afterwards, but when the uh, SR seventy one was here, Ooh. they used they used to talk about how it literally stopped traffic on the island because everybody because it would be sitting at the end of the runway getting ready to be spooling up. You see the maintainers under there, Beautiful their flight. stickers and everything on because it's leaking all over them, and it would take off. And he said everybody on the island would stop because they call it the habu. That's what they called it here in Japan. It was called the Habu. Really? And they said that thing would take off and the USA would go, hum, dum, hum, dum. and then it was just gone. Wow, that's just so gone. It's still held to be the fastest airplane ever. Yeah. yeah. I had a friend of mine who was a, uh, actually on the development crew on the SR-71s. Right. I didn't know you had friends there, too. <laughs> a few of them. Not very many, but a few. Did you hear that story about the SR-71 pilot calling in the speed check to that uh, international airport? Yeah, 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 that's funny, that's a funny story. What was right that there. story? Let's hear it. Go for it. I'm a whole storyteller, but I guess this SR-71 pilot was, he was flying around, he was listening to, I guess they do speed checks at the airports, mm -hmm. and I guess Ground they had... speed checks to verify the instrumentation and all that. Yeah, yeah and uh, there was like, um, I think there was some local traffic, like small planes calling in speed checks, and I think there was an F-18 pilot or some other fighter pilot calling in a speed check and he thought he was hot stuff. <laughs> yeah. This SR-71 pilot, he, he thought he, he would oh, one one of them, them. Yeah. and he called in his speed check and it was like, it was like 1,300 miles an hour or yeah. something like that. It was ridiculous. Yeah. And then after that, there was complete but silence. Everybody was very quiet. <laughs> it was in California. Yeah. It was out, yeah. What was that, just uh, buzzing the base, low attitude? No, he was. On the radar, on the radar, they check to see what the what, where the planes are and who's this and the, the bragging rights of the days to see. Well, who's going that, that thing can go three thousand miles an hour if it wants to. That's still the time. They're doing. Road. He was doing like eighteen hundred and sixty-one miles an hour or whatever. Yeah, and cruising. Yeah, it started, it started off with a mom and pop Cessna. That yeah, had like nothing. Yeah, like gauges were barely there, kind of stuff. <laughs> called in the tower for uh, ground speed check and then. F-15 flying by, called in for ground check, and he's like, yeah, he's like 700 miles an hour. Yeah. And then just because he did it to show off the SR-71, like, hey, yeah. Tower, this is flight so so what's my ground speed? 1,861 miles per hour. <laughs> <laughs> so the tower just like, without blinking an eye, just yeah, popped out of ground speed. Professional. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, my, um, my, well, my colonel, like I said, my colonel, Colonel Hines, um, he was a recon pilot in Vietnam, and he said that and this is what he told me. He said they were. He was in Vietnam when the North Vietnamese actually got a missile lock on the SR-71, and they call some kind of code when it comes through, and everybody kind of just scatters. And he said he looks up, and all he saw was two vapor trails, the SR-71, and then he saw the missile behind it. And, and, missile just, and he said he saw something accelerate, and he saw the, the second vapor trail just. Die off. It outran the missiles. Just outran it. I didn't know that. Just I know it could fly higher, but just I didn't know it freaking ran it. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. Colonel Hines, Colonel Hines was a, uh, when I met him, he was he had to be in his late 60s, early 70s because he flew F-105 